Some people in Brookfield are upset about two proposed injection wells. Right now, a Pittsburgh-based company has only applied for permits to drill, but the people who live nearby are trying to stop it from happening at all. 27 First News reporter Nadine Grimley spoke with a few of them today and shares their thoughts. Well, Dave and Mandy, Highland Field Services LLC has applied to drill two new wastewater injection wells in the township, but the people who live nearby are trying to stop it. I'm way past the point of being angry. Dana Bassey lives at Wingate Manor, a community of about 245 homes with 450 people living there, all adjacent to where Highland Field Services LLC wants to drill two new wastewater injection wells. We need to stop this now before it gets started. Once it gets started, it may be too late. Eileen Ayers is the manager at Wingate. She has a few concerns about the wells, too. Basically, the traffic, the emergency vehicles getting in and out, people getting in and out because they're elderly. The noise. And the noise. She's written letters to state lawmakers who say they're worried, too. They don't have to adhere to a road use maintenance agreement. Uh, air quality monitoring, aquifer monitoring. Officials at ODNR say a decision hasn't been made yet. These are just applications, the first in a two-step permitting process before the company can begin injecting. Individuals that are concerned about the applications that have been submitted can send their comments to us here at ODNR. James Hennessy is doing just that, collecting signatures in opposition. If you care about our community, please sign these, and then we're going to send them in, in and see what we can do. I don't know how much we can do to stop this. The public comment period is open through the 28th. The people who live nearby are also planning a rally in opposition to these proposals. They're still working out the details, but plan to hold it at some point next week. Live in the studio, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.